So today we have the Razor Crest. We're going to do a review on this and there's a little Easter egg I've spotted, so make sure you check the review. And I'll see you in a few. Hi guys, my name is Martins Lego Fan UK. Now today we have the Razor Crest. This is my review on this cool little set. Set number is 75292, featured 1023 pieces. We get five minifigs and we also get the main build itself. Now I think I spotted a couple of Easter eggs in this little set, so make sure you check out this review. I'm gonna to get to that anytime soon. I think it might be a first that nobody's seen it before, but it's, it's something that I think I spotted, whether it's just my imagination, I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna have a look at this set. We're gonna see what we think, see if it's worth the price tag, 119.99. It's on back order until the 30th of September in the UK as well. So it's been selling pretty well. So let's go check the review out guys and I'll see you in a second. So here's the box. As of all my reviews, you always see, I have to look at the box, show you the box. The box art is actually pretty cool. If you're a box collector, this is a really nice one. I love the Mandalorian writing. I absolutely love that. Very, very reminiscent of the program. We've got the sunset in the background, so that's really cool. You've got the five minifigs. So we've got the child, the Mandalorian, Gref Karga, IG-11, and the Scout Trooper. You've got the Mandalorian at the top. Now, I really like that. It's quite a cool little picture up there. You've got the Star Wars. The set number is 75292, a 10+, plus because it's... A little bit complex in places. The Razor Crest is what I've got on my box, and on the UK website, it does actually say on Lego.com it is still called the Mandalorian Bounty Hunter Transport. So I think this may just be the first wave that's going to come out as a Razor Crest because it was all done before the hoo ha kicked off, and I think the next ones that come out is going to be that name instead of this. So the actual box looks really cool. It's quite a nice size. You've got explosions going. You've got some firefight in there. Can't see any ships attacking it, but yeah, it looks quite cool. So and on the side, we've just got the Razor Crest again on the foot on there, and on the back, this is quite cool. It shows it all sort of deployed, so you can get inside. There's a lot of bits you can move around in there. You've got the minifigs having a little bit of scrap. You've got how the canopy works. The skate pod in there as well and also up here i thought this was a sticker when i first got the set but it's not it's a print on there it says you can play it in the star wars the skywalker saga and i can't wait to get that if you've seen my video of my reaction check that one out it's just popping up now guys and you get a secret code to unlock this ship in the game so that's gonna be quite cool find that and then we've got a one-to-one -one size of the mandalorian up there so that is the box quite nice box Guys, this is the instruction manual. It's quite a nice, quite a thick manual. Being just, just over a thousand pieces for the build. You've got the QR code in the bottom corner. So if you want to use the digital instructions, you can do. I prefer using the physical copies. I just like holding that in the hand. So it's got the same as the front of the box. Don't forget at the back, you've also got your product feedback. So don't forget to fill it out because one in 1,000 people usually win a prize. Then we've just got the normal standard instructions through there and the sticker sheet there's a fair few stickers so i'll show you what stickers are on the set when we look at the actual set talking about the star wars skywalker saga here is the code for unlocking the ship so if you're not buying the ship pause the video you'll be able to see the code there but i didn't show you that <laughs> so here's the set in all its glory it looks quite good actually i really like the look of this it looks amazing we're gonna have a look at these minifigs Right, so the first minifig we've got is Grief Gadar. Now he's got his dual pistols, which is quite cool, like in the show. He's got some sort of dark red, brownish red legs and torso with quite a nice print with his sort of cape jacket half open. And on the back, he's got his cape printed on the back as well. He's got a nice sort of hairpiece. Take that off. He's got a dual head, so he's got a sort of smiley face, and then he's got a Stern face is about to have a bit of a scrap. So that's the first minifig. That is Grief Gagar. He's quite a cool one. Obviously only available in this set at the moment. Next up we have IG-11. This is a buildable droid. Interesting thing is you get two of each arm. So you can have two straight arms, two bent arms, or you can mix them up. So 
that's an interesting thing. You get two guns. Now I'm glad we've got these blasters rather than those horrible stud shooters. So you get a big rifle that goes on his back, and then a like blaster there. Now I like the face print on the one by one round brick. It kind of looks like he's smiling, so but it's, it's a nice print. It looks very good and spot on to the TV show. The next one we have is this Scout Trooper. Now, out of all the minifigs, I think this is my favourite one. I actually really like this. I love the black and the white. You see, he gets a little gun as well. But the black and white is really good. The printing on the legs and on the torso is pretty amazing. I really like that. And the same on his back. Even just the printing on the back of the helmet is really good. And you take his helmet off and he's just got a standard clone face. Which, they could just use a different face or just put a black head because you don't see them in the actual show and the dual mold of the helmet like the new stormtrooper helmets they're actually really nice got really nice prints on it so much detail i absolutely love that minifig i think it's really cool next one we have is the main man of the show the mandalorian now the built gun is quite cool i like how they've done that i would prefer to have seen them actually do a separate mold for it because they're going to do loads of sets so that would have been quite cool. I'm going to take that off so we can look at the minifig. The minifig. He's just got a black head. So we don't see his face until later on in the show. So hopefully we're going to get a new up-to-date one with his head on there. The helmet is pretty cool. I really like that. I think it's really nice. Got some nice moulding on it. And a nice bit of printing. And the body. The torso. And the legs again have got some nice printing on there. We've got a almost fabric cape. It's kind of a bit of a mixture, a bit of a hybrid. The cape's not too bad. And the printing is really good. So overall, those minifigs are really cool. But the main thing for this set has got to be the baby odor. Now I think that's really cool. In the back, it's really hard to find. It's so tiny. I didn't realize it was that small. Now, the print on the chest is really nice. That makes it a unique piece. This is unique to this set and the buildable Baby Yoda that's coming out. Baby Yoda. <laughs> and I called him Baby Yoda earlier. No, it's the child. So we've got a buildable child coming as well. But the actual minifig in real life, looking at it now, looks so much better than the internet pictures that I've seen of this little cute little baby. So that is definitely one of the main things for this set. Obviously, these minifigs are pretty good. And now we're going to check out the actual ship. So, guys, this is the Razor Crest, or as they say, this is the way. I really, really like this. I think it's quite a nice build. It's fairly sturdy, which is nice. It's got some really good techniques. Using a lot of Technic connections to make sure it is really sturdy. You can lift it by the engines, but you can lift it by that bit, but just be careful because it does stress the joints. But the overall of this ship is actually really good. Now, I like how they've built all these side panels so you can open up each of these. So it shows the, the hollow construction. You can actually open up these as well. So the whole ship pretty much opens up so you can see everything inside. Now, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to, they're going to mock inside here. You can be able to put your little toilet in there and maybe a couple of other bits. But yeah, it's actually really cool. I like the techniques, how they've done that. And you can open up that canopy there and maybe fit a little speeder or something in there. So the overall of the actual ship itself, love the engine builds. The engine builds are really cool. Quite fun doing this front piece. Just make sure you don't miss any bits. We've got two stickers that wrap around each of these cones on either side. Now that sticker there is a grey sticker as well, so it's not clear, so that's a really nice sticker. Actually, I don't say that often, but that's quite a nice sticker on there. All these sort of grey and beige tans on markings on these sides, these are all stickers. Really like how they've done this side build to do the guns have been pretty cool. And inside you've got these rods that you can fire out of the shooters. And we'll spin it around to the other side. We open this one up and you've got his sleeping quarters in here. So you've got a bed in there and then just a couple of stickers on those back panels. 
So that is pretty cool as well. What we also have in the side, if I drop this down, you can see there's two one by two by five bricks that slide out. They don't go any further in, so you won't lose them. And what we have here are two stickers of two bounties that the Mandalorian has gone to claim. He's got them, he's ready to go get his money and get a nice upgrade on his suit. So they're quite cool. Adds a little bit to the fun, sort of the play aspect. Like I say, if they were molded, that would have been absolutely amazing, but stickers will have to do. So it's not, not a bad little addition. Now what is really cool, this top bit here, you've got a little escape pod, and it is perfect for a minifig. So if I take that bit off, you can see you can clip a minifig in there. He's not going to go out anywhere. Pop that on, as long as his arms are out of the way. That is pretty much perfect for a minifig. So yeah, there's the escape pod. Really nice. Fits a minifig in there perfectly. And he can even look out. There's no glass on there, so he's got all his breath <laughs> if he's out in space. So that's pretty cool because a nice little surprise. That sits in the top of the Razor Crest. It just pops in there. I'm going to look at the front of the ship, and this is my Easter egg. Correct me if I'm wrong. This front piece here, the front of the Razor Crest, is very reminiscent of Boba Fett's helmet, or even a Mandalorian helmet. So you've got these lines at the front, which go perfectly well. The curve there, which might represent the cheek there. But even better than that, when I was building this, as I was doing the canopy, I looked at it and I thought, that reminds me of something. So if you've played any of the Lego Star Wars games, that to me, if I move that way a little bit, looks like Boba Fett's helmet from the Lego games. So that to me yeah, looks like the Boba Fett's helmet from the Lego games. You can see you've got the, the mask bit that goes down top of the helmet and that's where his visor is. So I think that is a cool little Easter egg if you've played the Lego games, even just looking at what Mandalorian's helmet looks like or Boba Fett's helmet. So that is definitely really cool. I love how they've introduced that. Whether it's by mistake or whether they actually meant to do that, I'm not sure. But let me know in the comment, guys. Let me know what you think. So going back to the ship, I love how that goes in. You've got two of these little clips. They don't really clip in properly, but they clip in enough to hold that in. So once you take that out, you can actually move this cone piece to open up the back where you can put some weapons in there. That just holds them nicely. There's a little bit of a gap as well, so you can probably put something else in there. You've got two seats for the minifigs. Now, these have been better if they were done in like a dark brown or black rather than bright red. And you've got a one by two cheese slope that's printed as well. So there's a couple of printed pieces and a few stickers. So nothing major sticker wise. There's a few on there. So you've got enough room for two minifigs. But it would have been nice if they included like a little seat for the child, which you haven't. So obviously, when you want to put in your Mandalorian, you can put Mandalorian there with Kate by his chair, and you've got the child sitting in his hand. You can pop the canopy back on and you can kind of just see the child in there there you go so you can see the child in there sitting with the mandalorian take that off and you can see him so yeah it would have been nice if they put like just maybe a little stud on the side somewhere and you see he falls off his hand really easy but yeah it would have been would have been ideal if they'd done something a little bit extra for that but the overall build is really cool now one thing i don't really like on this set is the landing gear. They've used these like skis that we've seen in quite a lot, so I'm not really keen on these. They look a bit, a bit silly for the whole set. They're really tiny. It does kind of rock back a little bit, so it could have been, yeah, it could have been better. So there can be a lot of people are going to be mocking these and making new ones. The bottom of the ship doesn't look too bad. There's a few gaps at the top here, but because it's a Technic kind of build in there, you could have put a few bits in, but they wanted to lock it in and make sure it was okay. But overall, that's not actually too bad. Now I'm going to show you before we go. So we take the shooters out from there. Now the spring shooters are pretty cool. They're located on the top here. They're really well hidden, and I love how they've done the fire mechanisms for it. 
So I think this is actually quite a clever little design that they've done. So you can see they're hidden at the top, you can't really see them. And if I show you the top of the ship, so they're hidden in here. We've got a one by two modified tile there with the little grills on top. And if you push that down, it fires them out. So that is actually, I've got my foot twice. <laughs> it's a really cool way of putting that, those shooters in there, keeping them hidden out of the way. So there's nothing clunky out of the way. Now it'd have been nice if they done something else with these guns, but the guns are, are pretty cool. I love how these cannons are done. They're really sturdy. And you can just imagine that flying off. So my overall opinion of this set is I think it's, it's really good. It's, I'd have preferred it to be a little bit cheaper, around about £100 rather than £119 or £120. But it's a good set. Love the little Easter egg that they put in there. Minifigs are really cool. Love the Scout Trooper. I think the Scout Trooper is definitely really, really cool. What would have been nice as well is if, if they put a small build in of a speeder that the scout trooper could have used that would have been absolutely spot on so next time lego if you can do a set like this stick one of those in there i think we're going to probably find one in the next wave maybe like a battle pack that's going to have two or three scout troopers maybe another ig 11 and a couple of speeders so that would be quite cool so let's hope fingers crossed that we get that for the next set so guys thank you for watching the video hope you enjoyed it don't forget, if it's your first time here, please click that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, keep up to date with all my latest videos. Now, let me know in the comments what you think to the little Easter eggs that I spotted. Is it something that I've just imagined, seen it, and just thought, oh, that looks like that? Or is it actually something that Lego and Disney have actually put into this set? Is it something that's, that they've just thought, oh, we'll pop that in and see if anyone notices it? So let me know what you think, guys. Anyway, is it worth the money? It's a little bit on the steep side, £120 a little bit steep. I would have preferred it to be around about £100, so £99.99 would have been a nice price. But because obviously you get the little baby Yoda, and it's such a fresh sort of ship that we've seen only recently in the Mandalorian, because the Mandalorian's only just been out recently as well, it's definitely been hyped up, the price has been set. So £120 is probably a little bit more but I pre-ordered this way back when and I was really glad I finally got it and got to build it. So anyway, thank you for watching the video guys. Take care yourself and I'll see you on Friday for Friday for the day. Bye bye.